if you are a, a startup within the urban mobility field, what EIT Urban Mobility can bring to you is the whole of the European market. Welcome all, excited to see you here today. Uh, we are here today to talk about EIT Urban Mobility and business creation and what opportunities you as startups can have from joining forces with us and what we can offer you. We are excited to get in contact with all of you and try here in this interview with Frederick Cornell, our director for business creation, to give you a bit of flavor of what this is about. So EIT Urban Mobility is uh, funded by EIT, which is a body of the European Union. So, and we are funded by with 400 million over the coming seven years, not all for business creation, but also for other areas. Uh, we have in our organization, we start with everything is, is with the cities in the center. And we then have, and looking at the challenges the cities faces today in urban mobility. And we also then have business creation as mentioned, but we also have innovation, academy, um, and also we have Factory, which is a consultancy arm of EITR Mobility. We are here today in Stockholm, Sweden, because we can't go to Tel Aviv. Uh, as you know, we are all online these days. And also, in our case, we have our headquarters in Barcelona. But both me and Frederick, we are living in Stockholm, so that's why we're here today. We are at KTH, Royal Institute of Technology, in Stockholm. And actually both the city of Stockholm and KTH Royal Institute of Technology are partners within EIT Urban Mobility. EIT Urban Mobility has in total 52 partners uh, covering the cities, the industry, research organizations uh, and academia. So it's a it's a pan-European network which is a very strong network and it's probably the most uh, pronounced uh, initiative within urban mobility in Europe today. Um, so we will listen to Frederick about uh, the business uh, op uh, or opportunities within business creation and also we would like to thank uh, Orly and the team for having us here today. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us and pleasure to be part of Ecomotion. Business creation is the activity where you support startups and scale-ups, uh, i.e. any innovative project where you've registered a company and you have a team of founders and you want to grow within the urban mobility area. From my side, I have worked uh, either as a founder or a co-founder or uh, part of the management team of probably a dozen startups, uh, one of them being in Silicon Valley. And uh, uh, so I have, I have met many of the challenges that many startups and scale-ups are facing when they're trying to take the step from their local market out to the world. The, the greatest value that we can uh, that we can offer to the startups and the scale ups it's the european perspective and also of course including our partners that are not part of the uh, of europe per se so we help them we get, give them access to our networks in the other regions in the other countries we also give them access to potential partners and investors across the different uh, regions and countries Looking at from the perspective of the startup, what we do is we have, I'd say, two levels of programs. Uh, so the first level of programs are the accelerator programs uh, that we run through EIT Urban Mobility. And those are run in the five regions that we have defined over the whole, uh, over all the countries that we cover. So the both the accelerator program and the scale up hub are free of charge. For the accelerator programs, we 
give a grant of 15,000 euros to every startup that submitted. In addition to that, we do invest in the companies as well. But that is a separate process. Well, I think uh, specifically within urban mobility, you have the problem for startups and entrepreneurs in general to actually to get the right contacts into the cities and into to understand the legislation, the, no, the local rules, etc. And I think that um, that is where our organization pays a very important plays a very important role in that we can actually interbreed the cities with the entrepreneurs and the startups as a part of our programs. We're looking for, specifically looking for startups and scale-ups uh, within our focus area. So basically, if you have a startup that can contribute to improving the living conditions, the, the livable uh, space in our cities, uh, con that can contribute to lowering the, all the greenhouse gases emissions uh, and that can improve the, the safety and the, 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 the uh, environment in the cities for the citizens that live there, uh, then we're obviously the perfect place for you to go. Yes, I mean, what we have seen with COVID-19 is, of course, because of the lockdowns in the cities, uh, the environments in the cities have changed dramatically. Um, and uh, we see that cities such as, for example, Milan, uh, will try to continue along, uh, you know, the, the, the traffic situation uh, that, that was created through the corona crisis uh, over the summer. and with the hope of actually prolonging it and making it permanent afterwards with more bicycle lanes, uh, much more restricted traffic for cars. And similar initiatives are being discussed and are along the line uh, for many other cities as well. I think that uh, the crisis has definitely influenced our programs within business creation. I think that uh, for the first, most of the programs, they will start virtually and uh, that the face-to-face -face parts of the programs will sort of have, have been postponed until later uh, this fall. It has also influenced us in the sense that uh, there are a lot of initiatives uh, to help startups financially. And so uh, we will have better resources to invest in startups going forward. Don't establish yourself locally in countries before you're really ready for it. So don't take the cost of actually establishing an office because it costs a lot and it takes a lot of management resources to do that. The second is bootstrap as long as possible. It may sound obvious, but uh, knowing and, and figuring out uh, how to get earn money and how to get commercial customers as quickly as possible is really, really important. And I think the third is uh, don't, uh, don't underestimate the difficulties of entering a new market. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. So if you have any more questions or any suggestions, you're welcome to contact me or any of my colleagues through our homepage. That concludes the interview with Frederick Connell. So as Frederick said, please contact us if you would like to know more at opportunities within business creation. Uh, and you find uh, us on the, our homepage. So that's eiturbomobility.eu. And there you could find the contact details. So do not hesitate and also take into account the opportunities now coming up in May regarding the programs for the accelerator program and so on. So please apply. Would love to see you there.